Her chilling isn't the only one to get himself into trouble on Twitter. Yeah, it's becoming more and more common for people in the public eye. This morning, our own John Keller looks at how others can learn from Schilling's mistake. I was sorry to see that former Red Sox great Kurt Schilling got himself punished by his ESPN bosses for retweeting some internet garbage equating Muslims with Nazis. No one likes violent Islamic fanatics, but it's never a good idea to compare anything with Nazi Germany. And Schilling really should have known better after his admirable battle last winter against creeps on Twitter who were cyberbullying his daughter. That should have taught him once and for all that whatever the intensity of your opinions, it's best to keep the worst of it to yourself and seek at least minimal moderation and courtesy in your public comments. But that's a lesson many of us could benefit from, isn't it? Donald Trump may be exciting a minority of Republicans with his penchant for gratuitous insults, including the retweeting Monday night of sexist slurs against Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly. But the fact that a full 70% of Republicans seem immune to Trump's charm suggests Plenty of people don't like that kind of talk, and I guess I'm one of them. I'm all for sharp-edged commentary and for occasionally calling out an idiot if they prove they've earned the adjective. And I'm not a fan of harsh political correctness that stifles legitimate debate. But a legitimate presidential candidate shouldn't and wouldn't endorse the word bimbo to describe an accomplished broadcaster. And a grown man like Schilling doesn't need to invoke Nazis to express his displeasure with Islamic terrorists. When we tolerate casual vulgarity like this, we diminish our culture and ourselves. Kurt Schilling took the fall and apologized. Will Trump show similar class? Your feedback is welcome here. Email me at keller at wbctv.com or reach me via Twitter at Keller at Large.